case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2003, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case Georgia v. Ashcroft, revolving around the complexity of integrating racial considerations into the redrawing of state Senate districts. The focal point of the case was the application of Section 5 of the Voting Rights Act, which mandates that states should not weaken the capacity of minority voters to elect representatives of their choice. Essentially, states must provide solid evidence showing their redistricting plan is non-retrogressive. Following the 2000 census, Georgia revised its state Senate districts, intending to bolster the number of Democratic seats while sustaining the current majority minority districts. Amidst this political reshuffling, the new plan incited allegations of being in contravention of the Voting Rights Act. Four African-American citizens of Georgia stepped into the legal fray and successfully convinced the district court that the newly minted plan undermined African-American voting power violating the act's prohibition on retrogressive changes to minority voting rights. The Supreme Court, however, found the district court's judgment was lacking. It concluded that the lower court failed to adequately evaluate the crucial factors necessary to assess retrogression, as set out under Section 5 of the Voting Rights Act. As a result, the Supreme Court vacated the judgment, remanding the case back for a fresh examination of the evidence in light of the correct legal standards. The task before them, to determine whether Georgia had indeed met its burden of proof and critically to assess the new Senate plan's true impact on the voting power of its black citizens. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.